at ISSA Interclean, the winner overall of, of robots was Clean Fix. And this robot was basically the magic thing. And let's find out what's so interesting about it by asking some question to Roland de Korte. Roland, congratulations, you Thank won you the Robot much. Award of yeah. the ISSA Interclean. Um, so what's the name of this, uh, of this clean fix robot? Navi 660. Navy 660. Navy 660. Why? And, yeah, and, the, the, and basically the jury said this is a practical robot. This really works, and you have also committed. You are committed to this kind of development. You are. This is not your first one. You have a long range. So, when is this thing uh, on the? When did it come to the market? Our first robot came onto the market in 2004. Small machine, very likable, 40 centimeters wide. But uh, the, the and this sucker is a lot bigger. How big is it? This one is 660, 66 centimeters, yeah, okay. so it's huge. Yeah. It weighs altogether 265 kilograms, mm -hmm. so it's really a huge thing. How long can it work uh, autonomous? Four hours. And then it basically rolls back to the charger and basically charges itself like every vacuum cleaner and every garden robot now does? Uh, we wish to have that on the year's end. Next version, okay, Absolutely. the next version. So it works four hours, and how many square meters can it then scrub and clean? It can scrub up to 1,200 square meters an hour. So in four hours, you could have roughly 4,000, 4,500 square meters. Okay. And uh, the, the jury also really liked that you have a smart uh, navigation system in this, uh, in this thing. Eh? It has, uh, thing. How does it do that? Th the way it does, it's, it's, it's in basically quite simple. What we do as manufacturers, we map out the room. We make the map of the room, the, out, the outer side, and then by algorithms, the machine by itself calculates what is the most efficient way to, cal to, to scrub the floor. That's what we want, of course. Yeah. And, but you also, have, you also have virtual walls where it basically should stop, and uh, yeah, there's you, all kinds of stuff. You remind, sorry, you remind very well. Now, what we, what we can do is we have actually have a patented system where you can put a, a, a virtual wall, you can map it in the map, and that means for the robot, there's a no-go area. So uh, entrances, or, or even if you would, would do it in a swimming pool, you could, yeah. There's no area to go. There's no way to go into the swimming pool. And, uh, and to map out the room, is that really easy? I walk around with an iPad and I basically say, this is a, this is a place and that's a place. I mean, or is it, and do I have to go blueprinting and, and, and all kinds of things? How easy is it? Can anybody who can operate a machine also map out the, uh, the room? I, I would say, at the end, yes, there will be. But at the moment, it's, it's not with an iPad, it's with a laptop. Yeah. It's the connection on the machine. That's the only, only time when the, actually the laptop is on the machine because then we take it off. Yeah. And it is as easy as you learn it. Mm -hmm. It's not rocket science, but you have to go around and you have to make an actual map, like a C, like a CAT system. Yeah. And then say, okay, this is a wall, this is a wall, this is what, I mean. Okay, a laptop connected to the machine. Ah, that, that sounds like it's not on my smartphone. It doesn't follow me around. There's some <laughs> room. Is the thing connected to the internet? Uh, is there a SIM card in there which basically reports the amount of hours and, and, no. and all the needs? No, no. Okay, so not it's yet. not a connected, it's a robot. It's an unconnected autonomous robot. Okay, so that is, uh, there's also some room for improvement. No, what we've did is we, it, we, it, for us, it was a whole job yeah. to actually make a self scrubbing robot. So we said, on our wish list are v virtually maybe 20 other wishes. Yeah. But we said, let's first make this. No, let, let's focus on what you do well. Now, Absolutely. let's go talk about the business case. This thing can do about 5,000 square meters you know, on, one, uh, on one battery, and then you charge it for a couple of hours, and then it can continue. Right. Um, how much cheaper, uh, how, how much per hour uh, per square meter is this thing working compared to uh, somebody with a machine uh, on top of a machine? I, I, have to, I have to correct you, because we don't focus m straight away on cost reduction. We focus on quality improvement. Ah, excuse me. These are Swiss. Uh, these people are from Switzerland. They are into quality. Yeah, absolutely quality. We only think quality. Yeah. Swiss made quality. What we want in at the first step is is working machine and people together, mm -hmm. because we we still need people. We still need a guy, an operator, to put the water in. We still need guys to do glass walls, to clean glass walls, to clean facings. These are all things you can do whilst the machine is working. Yeah. So what you do is work with man and machine together. We call that flow cleaning. Okay. It's working together in the area. Thank you. Quality and, but, and you need a man with the machine, but the, machine, the, the man uh, can do other things or the woman can do other things Correct. while the robot is working. Yeah, and on top of that, yeah. 
we say in let's say in an average area where you have to scrub three times a week 3,000 square meters or 4,000 square meters this machine has a return on investment anywhere from 12 to 15 months in comparison to an old school ride-on machine yep. if you compare it to that okay. and how much how much if I just want to Put a price on it. How much? Uh, how many? I would say if you take an average configuration, yeah. it's it's anywhere about roughly thirty thousand euros. But it can 30, be lower yeah. if you take out a couple of things, yeah. and it can be higher. Thirty thirty thousand for a robot, and it, and how long can it can it work? Ten years. Uh, uh, we, Swiss we, quality. Uh, we focus on minimum five to eight years. Oh, five to eight years. Okay, so it's six thousand, uh, five thousand uh, euro a year, and then basically plus some maintenance. Uh, so a little bit over ten euro a, a day. You're a very quick count calculator. How many of those are, do you expect to sell next year? I would say worldwide uh, 500. Okay, so it's a teeny peeny little market at the moment. It's Absolutely. beginning. And why is it so small? Why is this thing not much more interesting? And why don't you sell thousands and thousands of them? Why because is it? This is cleaning. Yeah. We are in a market where it, which is dominated by people who are, let's say, Innovation, we talk about innovation a lot, but we don't do it a lot. You have an innovation prevention team, basically working. Oh yeah, uh, if you want, want to call it that way, absolutely. Okay, so, but if, if you have a normal machine, uh, your highest volume uh, product, how many of those do you sell? We sell them 5,000 units. 5,000, so, okay, so 500 is a nice, uh, is a nice it's amount. It's really good, very good start. And I, I'm, and I'm in three you. year, and in three years, is it, will, be, will it be, 3,000 uh, 3, of those? Uh, I hope so, but I'm, 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 I'm quite sure. If you, if you look at the worldwide market, yeah. and interesting enough, the markets who are behind us, which we are thinking we are behind us right now, they're actually coming up, and they go straight into robotics. Yeah. They don't go for a normal traditional machine. They say in a hospital, why, why should we clean it up? Why should we walk behind a machine yeah. or sit on a machine if somebody can do it autonomously? Yeah. That's, that's what we see and that's what we feel. So innovation is slow in this market, but it will come. Absolutely, it will come. Okay, congratulations with your uh, number one prize for robots in the cleaning world was Clean Fix. <laughs>